What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators on a superhero hat bringing you yet another episode of Fight Like a Superhero here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time, we're going over the legendary fan favorite, Wolverine. Man, I really do love that clip. I am a huge fan of X-Men, guys. I've always been a huge fan of X-Men. Ever since the movie started coming out, uh, the original X-Men movies, basically starring Wolverine as their best character, Hugh Jackman is iconic for me. And uh, I can't wait for them to come out with the new X-Men lines in the MCU. I know it's gonna happen. I don't know how it's gonna happen. I hope they recast Wolverine even though I love Hugh Jackman. It's I'm excited and we're gonna be talking about Wolverine today. So let's get into it. But first I'm gonna say something that's uh relatively oh well, pretty controversial. A lot of you guys will disagree with me uh but I'm going to explain it in this video. Wolverine can't fight like he he sucks at fighting. <laughs> Like, he's really bad at actual combat. And here's why. Uh, I have some solid reasons as to why that is. The first reason is that he is invulnerable. Uh, Wolverine, as you guys know, I'm sure everyone knows this by now, he has an adamantium skeleton and a healing factor that is incredible. So he can basically come back from basically anything. The reason that makes him bad at fighting is because he doesn't have to worry about taking damage. He has trained for so long. He is a uh, hundred, over a hundred years old. He has had time to learn how to fight in World War One and Two. Uh, I think in some in some like areas he was in the Civil War. He's been around a while, and so he's learned how to fight from you know from experience of hundreds and thousands of battles over his lifetime. But that's only made him practice bad technique. So if you don't know, if you're not a martial artist, martial artist right now, the way you practice is the way you perform. The way you practice combat, the way you practice how to fight uh, is how you're going to do it when the time comes for you to, you know, buckle down and actually fight. Um, Wolverine practices every time he goes in the battle knowing that he has this great healing factor and after the weapon x project he knows that he has an unbreakable skeleton so he practices without the the fear of damage without the fear of taking cuts or bullets or stuff like that um and so when he fights he doesn't worry about that which is why it's a bad fighting style it works for him but it can only work for him because he has those features uh, if anyone, you know, any regular person were to try to fight like that, they would be considered the worst fighter ever because just letting someone stab you in the chest is not the best idea in the world for someone without a healing factor. Like, you know, the two of us, the two of us right now, the person watch, you guys watching this video, me, Joe Blow down the street, the president, literally everyone on earth without a Wolverine healing factor. So that's everybody with that said i still want to go into breaking down his fighting style because there might be some of you guys out there that you're like i got this i have a healing factor i can do it or maybe there's some of you guys out there that want to kind of morph it in and have some parts of it in your own fighting style so i'm gonna still break that fighting style down for you guys wolverine is famous for letting rage kind of guide his fighting style rage basically decides how hard he goes um <laughs> and decides how much he's willing to hold back. When you're fighting, you gotta let your, when you're learning to fight like Wolverine, you gotta let that inner anger out. Find something you're mad about, something that, someone that did you wrong. F yet let that fuel your moves because you're gonna have to hit hard as Wolverine. Wolverine is the type of person, especially with his, even without his claws, his bones are adamantium. If he punches somebody, they're gonna feel it. It's like getting hit in the face with a steel fist. That's literally what it will be. And so, or even stronger than a steel fist. When you're punching somebody, you have to A, 
condition your bones so you can take hits like that. Condition your arms, your legs, your fists, condition it, your knees, elbows, all of it. Condition all your bones so that you can be able to deliver those hard hits without breaking your hands or breaking your elbows uh, or breaking knees and stuff like that. There's a ton of videos on conditioning. Uh, there's actually one on this channel if you check out my combat for dummies episodes. I think it's like a Minecraft episode, how you can punch trees. I don't remember, but it's on there or there's a ton of other videos on how to condition. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that know more about conditioning than I do. It is incredibly important because so much of Wolverine's fighting style relies, like I just finished saying, relies on being indestructible. You have to get as close as you can to being indestructible. After that, you, Wolverine doesn't use a lot of kicks. Uh, Wolverine's claws being on his hands means that he is very focused on cutting his opponents with his upper body. So going a more boxer route versus a kickboxer or ninja-esque route is going to be more effective when learning how to incorporate Wolverine style into your hand. Going to a lot of heavy power upper strikes and taking impact with your forearms and elbow and and um, not elbows and uh, biceps triceps taking impacts with this part of your arm to stop blows is gonna be your go-to taking an impact and following up with a hard uh, left hook or going underneath for that strong uppercut is gonna be your go-to um, with your combat when going on the offensive. Heavy upper handed, heavy upper body techniques is gonna be what drives your combat. Now after that, you don't have claws in your hands, I, I'm pretty sure, uh, unless like, if there's one of you with claws in your hands, if you like surgically put claws in your hands, please let me know, cause I wanna meet you. <laughs> but Wolverine is gonna mostly use knives in the real world that's what we're going to be using in this video this knife and this knife uh for examples for as far as this video goes when you're d using these techniques you're going to be doing a lot of slashes so your cross is going to be slashing at vital parts like you know the neck um or uh for those you know more dire situations or just to hurt your enemies like their chest and stomach <laughs> Um, by the way, Wolverine slashes at the stomach and it just hurts them. If so you actually took a knife to someone's stomach, they would die. Just, just as, so we're in, so we're clear on where the real realism stands. But also, Wolverine, like his key move, his most famous move out there is launching off of something with his arms out like this and just push, stabbing someone in the chest. It is honestly one of the coolest things ever that you can see Wolverine do. I'm, I, I nerd out every time I see him do it. But it's not very realistic. <laughs> So instead of something like that, it would be going, you know, down into someone's chest like that. So in the combos later, we're gonna be learning some stabs and some uh, slash techniques, but you're gonna want to, when you're watching videos of Wolverine, when I was watching, when I was watching videos of Wolverine fight, and if you're watching videos of Wolverine fight, his strikes, his slashes all come like that with the fist facing out. Now you're gonna have to change that so that when you're holding a knife, it's gonna be, you know, like you're a human holding a knife. So it's gonna be out like that or like that. So you, whenever you see Wolverine fighting, you have to figure out in your head how to alter his hands so that you get the same effect while actually working for humans. That's gonna be the majority of what you wanna do when you're trying to convert his moves to uh, your to your moves that you can actually do. I watched a lot of boxing matches. I watched a lot of uh, Wolverine fight scenes, and in my head, I was just taking it and learning how to alter the hands to get the same 
um, effect with holding the blade instead of it coming out of your arm because it can be harder than you might think. Just take your favorite fight scene and do it right after you finish the video. See what you get. Again, for those of you that, you know, this is your first video, remember, I am teaching you the concepts of how to bring Wolverine's final style and make it your own, not teach you everything you need to know about how to fight exactly like Wolverine, because one, like I said a ton of times in this video, it won't necessarily work the right way, and two, that any taking any character and teaching you everything they've ever done would take four ever it would take a whole series in and of itself and maybe i might do that for characters like batman in the future and stuff like that but probably not i'm not gonna do that if you want to learn actual techniques check out my combat for dummy series it's what it's here for um and if you want to learn how to take those techniques in the combat for dummy series and put them into a specific superheroes style or villain style that's what these videos are for so in case this is your first video i just want you guys to know that before i switch over to the next part of this video which is me going outside before it gets too dark hopefully so you can still see me and showing you a couple different techniques that we can use as a Wolverine fighting style in real life. Obviously, again, keep in mind, Wolverine's a terrible fighting style for someone to learn in real life. But if you still want to learn that, let's get right to it. By the way, just a small disclaimer, um, Wolverine kills people, so only use this in dire situations where your life is on the line. Because, again, Wolverine kills people, so keep that in mind. All right guys, sorry about the wind ahead of time. That's why I was in my car recording most of this video. Uh, I plan on recording it all out here, but it is super windy and kind of loud out there. So I'm gonna talk really loud. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, <laughs> if not, I'll figure out how to fix it in post. But let's get into the first Wolverine technique. The first one, we're gonna use both our knives out right now. We're gonna start in a boxing match just like this. Just hands up ready to take on the fighter. Now you're gonna wait for them to come in at you. You're going to step to the side and block with your arm, with your forearm, you're gonna block your head, keeping that impact from hitting you just like that. Now, the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your back hand with your uh, knife held upside down. You're going to cut at the body just like that. So again, block, cut at the body. Now what you're gonna do, is you're going to kick them away. Just a nice bar to kick to get them away. So then you're going to rush them and stab just like that. So one more time, going this way so you guys can see it a little better. You're gonna block, you're gonna swipe back their chest and kick them away, flip the knives upside down. Then you can Wolverine stab just like that. One more time, again, going this way so you guys can see it a little better. One, two, all right, so this one is gonna be slightly less lethal than that last one. This is gonna be, again, holding our knives upside down, just like this. You're gonna start with that same stance that we did before. You're first gonna lead with a right hand punch, not using our knife, just a nice punch, bang, just stun them in the face, just like that. So it's gonna be a one. Now, from here, you're gonna take our left hand. You're gonna swipe at the knee just to get a nice cut across the front of the knee, right above the knee. So it takes out their ACL. I think, I believe that's called ACL. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. If there's a tendon right here that I can't think of the name of, let me know what that is down in the comments. So again, you're going to punch, swipe at just above the knee. Now you're gonna come again, and you're going to swipe, cutting the cheek, right? The cheek area right here, that's gonna be your goal. Bang, cutting across that cheek, cutting across that face. Again, not killing them, trying to get them to bleed, trying to get them distracted. Now you're gonna take your last one as they lean back, holding their face together. You're gonna take your last knife and stab it down into their leg or torso. Just upper, the goal is to stab it into their upper leg right here to cause them as much pain as possible. The goal of this is to stop them, not kill them, but put them in a significant amount of pain so they just stop and you can you know question them or do whatever you need to after so again coming through you're going to punch one swipe swipe stab ready just like this 
punch, swipe, swipe, stab. The last one, you're gonna have one knife in your hand. It's gonna be in your left hand. It's gonna be facing up, right, just like this. So you're gonna start in that same stance, except this time you want your dominant side. For me, it's gonna be my right side up in front. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna start with your knife facing out. Do not have it facing towards you or pointed at you like this. This is not good. This is never good. So have your knife facing out just like this and the other hand up just like this. So you're gonna start off with your jab, your right-handed jab to the end chunk just right here. This time was gonna go bang. So instead of that going straight out and pulling it back, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it. You're going to hook it across just like this. So we're gonna hit and pull it back just like a hook. And so when you do that, you're going to one, two in the face. Now this is to get them to lean back and open up their torso just like that. So again, you're going to one, two, and then three. Just like that, getting that stab in there. Ready? One, two, three, as they fall back. Just like that. And that is going to be the last Wolverine combo of the video. So let's get back in my car so you can hear me a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making these videos. It just gives me a chance and an opportunity to watch a bunch of my some of my favorite characters fight scenes. And I really enjoy be, giving the, giving, eh, being given the opportunity to do that and help you know some of you guys out there learn a little bit more about your own fighting style and trying to learn martial arts. So um, if you wanna see more videos, I would love it if you could hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more because I post a ton of these videos all the time. These actual, the, the Fight Like a Superhero videos come out twice a month and Combat for Dummies comes out every single week. So you're gonna get a bunch of videos uh, all on this subject um, th that will help you in your personal journey to becoming how to fight however you want to. Uh, with that said, if you want to help me out, share this video everywhere. And if you want to help me out even further, I do have a Patreon. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, as always, if you feel like, you know, donating a dollar, that would be immensely appreciated. There are a ton of different uh, benefits you get from supporting me with different tiers. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.